Hello everyone! Final Fantasy V, again. Maybe for the last time. Don't know. If you saw my last video, you know. So, how can I possibly make this game harder? Well, you've seen me do Quad Zerker. You've seen me do Solo Ferris. What if we combine them? Hear me out. Now, even with my rules, it's probably close to impossible. But, we're going to try. The rules I'm saying for myself for this run is... It is Ferris only. We're starting... Uh, we're basically starting the run at Karnak. Because that's when I have Berserker. Um, although that won't matter because this is, this series is just going to be a collection of, a compilation of boss clips. Nobody wants to see me do the grinds, nobody wants to see me get through the dungeons, whatever. The dungeons and stuff won't be a problem. It's going to be the bosses because I can't control myself. Not in that way, but you know, you know what I mean. So Ferris has to... Not just be a berserker the whole time. I'm giving myself a little leeway on this. <clears throat> she has to either be a berserker or have the berserk ability equipped at all times. This means that I could use, say, Knight. I could uh, just put berserk on Knight and I could use Knight Swords. And, you know, that's actually the only other thing I have <laughs> to worry about for them. Uh, I could put it on a thief or a, a, a ninja and put them in the back row so they could just use uh, uh, long range weapons to redu and reduce the, the, their incoming damage. I could put it on a freelancer and equip anything. And the freelancer is going to be the key. Because freelancer has shitty stats. They're all like mid 20s for all their stats it changes a little bit from character to character but it's about mid 20s once you master another job their high their stats transfer over to the freelancer unless the freelancer already had higher stats for example if if uh free if you mastered black mage uh which has lower strength than freelancer you would get the the black mages uh magic power, but you wouldn't get, like, say, their strength or their vitality, if it happens to be lower. Um, and so on and so forth. So if you want to max out a character, or uh, max out a freelancer, you master Monk, Thief, and I believe Summoner has the highest magic power, Thief has the highest agility, and Monk has both the, the highest strength and vitality. Um... Unless something the GBA version does, but this isn't the GBA version. This is Pixel Remaster. And it's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah. Uh, the key to this run will be... During my grinding sessions, trying to get... At the very least... M monk and Thief... Mastered. At the very least. I, the magic power won't be as, as important... It, magic power does have some use on a berserker for some weapons and they could be good weapons depending uh, the rune axe comes to mind uh, the Gaia hammer or earth hammer whatever it is might be affected by magic although I don't think we'll be using that really I think the only thing we'd be worrying about is like the rune axe because it, it can be very strong if you have MP to spare and high magic power um, but we'll have to see, because that's a long grind. A very long grind for Summoner. Since, uh, their last level requires 999 job points, if I'm not mistaken. I think because they get basically the free summon at that point. So until we get that stuff mastered, we'll have to figure out what job is going to be best for what. I don't know. Uh, Monk is going to be very important early on because Monk with Berserk on or 
Berserker with uh, Bare Hand on, although I think I have Berserker already ma- or not Berserker already mastered, but I do have like the Berserk ability already. Monk with Berserk is amazing. <clears throat> hand to hand crits fairly often, so it helps out even more. And but yeah, enough blabbing. I don't again, I don't know if this run's possible. But we're at least gonna see how far we can get. And I'll just grind while I'm eating dinner before work some nights or something like that. So this by the time you're seeing this, it could be months in the future. I don't know. Today is uh, December 30th, 2021. You might see this in a few days. You might see this in a few weeks. You might see this in a few months. But you will see it eventually. I'll show as many successes as I can. Uh, if we just can't get any further, uh, then we'll just call it quits. This is... I guess I call it a test run. <laughs> Well, I guess it's not a test run, it's just... I don't know. I, I have no evidence to support that I can do this. Except... Well, no great evidence, anyway. I think it's possible, but it would require a lot of luck. Especially against, like... <clears throat> certain bosses, like... Oh, I don't know, the final boss. <laughs> Making sure you hit the right things at the right time. <clears throat> Even the... I mean... In the Quad Zerker Challenge... Everybody had to be, like, low 90s for me to win. And even then, we barely won. Now, granted, that was as Berserkers, where we don't have much choice in the way of weapons. Uh, we're slow. Uh, lower armor selection, etc., etc. So, m maybe, just maybe, if we're Freelancer with whatever gear we want, as long as we stay Berserk, Maybe. It, it, it might be possible. Oh, and the other rule, um, like I said, uh, to be Berserker or have a Berserk equipped only, uh, no casting Berserk allowed at the start of a battle. Because, uh, I don't know if that would ever come into play as some sort of, like, cheap trick, but if I thought hard enough, maybe I could make it into some sort of trick where instead of equipping Berserk, I cast Berserk instead, but I, I don't know. J just in case. Anyway, this is the beginning of the first... Well, I don't know if I'm going to make this just like a playlist of a bunch of short videos or if I'll just compile them all into a few bigger videos. We'll see. But, uh... I hope you enjoy. And if this really is the last uh, Let's Play I do... Uh, hopefully it's a good one. I, I think it's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking for inspiration. This is all I got. So, on with the show. So, here it begins. We're here in the fire ship. And, um, as you can see, everybody's dead. I got Galaf to 17 just to deal with, uh... With, a uh, Gilgamesh 1 when the time comes. And I'll have to level them again later if I decide I want to deal with, uh, the... Oh, what's it called? Fork Tower. Yeah. But if I don't decide to do it, it it's not going to matter. Whatever. And then we have Lena and Butt's dead. So, um... Ferris is 25? And I like the menu of, of this. It's, uh... It's nice. And as you can see... Kicking Berserker on. Uh, I can't change kick, so yeah. Again, the rule is we can, as long as we stay Berserk, doesn't matter. And here's the coolest part about uh, Pixel Remaster. Whoa! I can go diagonal! Whoops. And just like the GBA version, you have, you know, hold down B for sprint. Well. Or would it be A on a actual GBA? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's B on a Xbox controller. Now, ideally, I'd like to kill it in the is it tornado form for the fire bow, but it doesn't really matter because 
Um, I forgot I don't get the arch, I don't get archer, or ranger, or whatever, until I get to Crescent Isle anyway. So I won't have it in time for Biblos. Unless I'm getting my jobs mixed up, I'm pretty sure Archer or Ranger is uh, Crescent Isle. There's already a super great thing about being Monk instead of Berserker. We have access to counter. Now, in my test run of this, uh, some weeks back, uh, it, it's still December 30th, like I said in the first video, but I've been, been, I've been working on this for a while. Um, in my test run, I won first try. I just wanted to see how it would go. And there was our counter right there. <laughs> well, I think we get Flame Rod? Or is it fi Fire Scroll? Pretty sure the tornado is the bow. Yeah, flame rod. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Still, even if I could use ranger, I'd probably be better off just using monk anyway, just because monk is so goddamn good in this, at least for a long time in this game. Uh, with that level, uh, kind of drops off near the end, but. Monk uh, levels super well, so if you get Monk up to high levels, uh, barehanded is ridiculous. Okay, so this is where this vi this video will stop because you don't need to see the retreat or the the, the castle escape. Uh, I've done it a million times. It's gonna be no problem as Berserker. This is just the boss's run, and no death call doesn't count because death call will get one shotted by uh, Ferris at this point. So the next boss you'll see is. Biblos. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Uh, it's a little late. Maybe I'll do it before I go to bed. I'll, 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 I'll give it a go. I'm not quite ready for bed yet. Anyway, I'll see you at Biblos. You know, I forgot about Ifrit. I don't know how I did, but I forgot about Ifrit. And the Pixel Remaster version of the... The Library of Ancients music is so good. Listen to this. Give it a sec. I mean, it already sounds good as it is, but you know. So what we look like before we, you know. That's how I heal, I just spam potions. <laughs> it's expensive, but I mean, I'll have to spend gill on anything else and I'm doing lots of grinding anyway, so. Man. And of course, I, cl I cleared Karnak Castle, no problem. I had tons of time to spare. And I grabbed the ribbon. I can't remember if Freelancer can use it or not. They might have to actually have a quick ribbon on, but I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm jamming. Okay, let's go be a bit for it. This should be... No problem. Should. We're like 26 right now. Didn't do any additional grinding because we went to the steamship at like 24, 25, something like that. Oh yeah, because I forgot to say it last time. This is first attempt. <laughs> if it has about 3k HP if I'm not mistaken. He's trying his damnedest. But he falls short. And if we're down. And now we can get past that one bookshelf. Hooray. Okay, now I'll see you at Biblos. Hopefully we can first try that. We'll see. And here we are at Biblos. This is going to be our first 
challenge, depending on what he decides to do. If he casts safe early on, that's going to be problematic. Uh, if he spams drain, that's going to be problematic. Hopefully we can take his ass down without too much fuss. We'll see. Safe yet. Even with safe on, we can still do fire damage, so. Web sucks. I want to say Biblos is about 4,000? Two drains in a row? Really? Oh shit. Fucking Discord. Uh, Discord sucks. That really hurts Monk so bad. Okay, good. He was almost dead anyway. I completely forgot about Discord. Oh, this also has an auto battle feature. You just hit X on it and it speeds up battle. But I'm not using that for the boss battles. Okay, first try Biblos. Hooray! It's always one of the shittiest bosses, depending on your group. If you've got Black Mages, or Mystic Knights, or Summoners, uh, easy peasy. Uh, if you got a bunch of physical jobs and they're not very highly leveled, like, you're supposed to be in here at, like, oh, I don't know, high teens? Something like that? Uh, it can be a little difficult. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. So, hooray, Monk Hole 4. Which means... Um, two job levels away from Mastering Monk? I think, or is it three? I think it's three. You can't, let's see. Four, five, six. Yeah, because it gets three levels of hit point plus. Okay, so four, five, and six. Ah, uh, so I got quite a few job points to go. Bleh. Oh well. Anyway, that'll be it for today. I mean, depending on how much I pump, pump into the comp pump, ugh, compilation, it's not going to matter. But I'm going to do a little bit more grinding or whatever, get to the next boss, and I'll call it quits or whatever. So, I will see you at... Hmm. Who's next? It's been so long since I played 5. What's after the library? Uh... So we gotta go back to the steamship. And cross an aisle. Oh, the stupid crab. Whatever. The crab sucks. And then what's after the... Oh, the lobstrosity. Uh... It's the sandworm after that, isn't it? Yeah, it's the sandworm after that. No, wait, no. It's the sandworm, and then it's the... Uh, Lobstrosity. Yeah. So, Sandworm. <sighs> so, here's the thing about Sandworm. Um, I, I might as well explain it now because I'll have to explain it a million times at the beginning of Sandworm. I'm <laughs> doing my luck. Sandworm has about like 3,000, 4,000 hit points, something like that. I want to say it's around about 3,000, something like that. Um, if you hit the wrong hole that it pops out of, or it will hit the hole that it doesn't pop out of, uh, you get gravity. Now, he doesn't hit himself, didn't, doesn't hit very hard, but when you keep getting gravityed, yeah. And this time, there's not a million people, or well, four people that take the gravities. So Ferris will be the only one that's hit by it. So that means I have to get really lucky with my RNG. And then if I hit Sandworm, I gotta hope for crits. We'll see how likely that is. So, don't be surprised if the video you, you see compiled at the end of this would be like attempt number 34 for Sandworm, and that's the one that was the winner. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys at S Sandworm. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's Sandworm. I think I'm missing something, but whatever. I'll just say Sandworm. If it's something else, well, you'll see. Well. Time for the moment 
at least some of you have been waiting for. The sandworm fight. So I'm sure this will be repeated a bazillion times. Actually, no. I'm, you know what? No. I'm not going to repeat this a bazillion times. Uh, if I fail the first few attempts, I'll keep those to show them off, I guess. And then uh, I'll try a few more attempts later and record those, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Let's see. And here's the thing. All right. Now, as some of you may remember when I did Quad Zerker, uh, I'm a much lower level than I was when I did this with Quad Zerker. I was like uh, 40 or something like that. I'm only 32 on Monk. But I honestly think I can do it like this. Simply because Bare Hand, uh, bare hand and Berserk is so goddamn strong. Right now, my punches are doing about 800 damage each and attacking twice. If they crit, they do about 1600. So it's possible, very unlikely, but possible to one shot this boss. I believe it has 3,000 hit points. Now, this is assuming I hit the right target. You know, this battle is going to be based on luck, but I don't think it'll take as many tries. First try, probably not, but you know what? Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Did I save? That would be incredibly tragic if I didn't save. I guess I saved recently, but still. Oh, I think. Well, fuck, you might as well beat him up now. Also farmed my way to, uh, 30 elixirs while I was at it. Went back to the ghost ship. Great place to farm up elixirs and get, uh, AVP. Because now I'm on, on my last level on Monk, and then I can switch to something else. Probably Ninja, actually. Instead of Thief. Ninja has, uh, two less agility, but I'll get two swords from it. So, eh. Good trade. Uh, I yeah. Might as well heal up to the top. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta talk to them. All right, here we go. Oh, and I also took the time to farm up uh, two death sickles, just in case I decide to go with two swords on freelancer. That'll be especially helpful during the crystal fight. Okay, let's see how many times or uh, times this takes. Wait, where the hell is the fucking sandworm? You little fucker. Really? That's gonna... Hmm. That's gonna be a problem. Huh. Okay, his defense is pretty high, so... We're probably gonna need a lot more levels than I thought. <clears throat> oh man, it's gonna be you do this each time. Yeah. I may have hit a roadblock already. I didn't expect two counterattacks with gravity. Okay, that's better. So four attacks will do it. I'm responding to Spitz. Oof. 
one more hit would do it. I think. No! Damn it. Damn it. Can I reset the recount encounter if I... So being back there counts as back row. That sucks. Still, even then, as long as we're hitting the right target, it shouldn't matter. But the problem is, if it's in the back row, it means more times we have to hit the right target. <laughs> eh. Now, unfortunately, our high hit points doesn't give us much of a buffer because of gravity. That doesn't help. So we pretty much have to win, like... Oh, fuck off, Ferris. Uh... That's attempt number three. Attempt number four. I made a gross miscalculation. <laughs> Is it always spawn in the back? Have a physical attack? I thought it was just gravity and, uh. Um. What's that called? Whirlpool? No. Um. Fuck. I don't remember. Whatever. Not Sandstorm. Attempt number five! And I wasn't counting on it, but I was really hoping for, uh, for... Okay, it's not always in the back. Mm, that still counts as back row. No! Oh! That's not helpful, Ferris. Okay, that's good. Oh, good. Oh, that should do it. I think. Yes! Fifth attempt. Not bad. Not bad. I'll gladly take that. I was just about to say, we need like four back row hits. As in like, you know, double hits. Or two front row hits. Or two back row and one front row. Excellent. Okay, let's heal and save. We do not use ends. We just use potions because we got the money for it. 
This becomes so much better once I get uh, access to high potions. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, that's it for that video. Hooray! Uh, next will be the Lobstrosity. And then uh, we get the airship. And uh, The one I'm legit worried about is Soul Cannon. Although, before we do Soul Cannon, we'll go do Shiva and Ramu for walls. It does not matter if we beat them. We don't need them. But, you know, whatever. They're bosses, so, eh. Alright then, see you next time on... At the last rusty, yeah. Uh, not that it really matters because this should be a foregone conclusion, but I guess I should show the last rusty bow. I, I did say I would, so <laughs> I almost skipped right past it. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. There's always a chance. Okay, tail screw, no good. Actually, it could kill me now. Since he opened with uh, tail screw. Uh... Yeah, okay, he's boned. I can't remember if it was like... Like 2,000, 2,500 hit points. It's a really strange boss. But whatever. <laughs> no, that almost wasn't a foregone conclusion. But, well... Frostbow. Well, there we go. Lobstrosity taken care of. So, uh, I'll see you guys at, a. Uh, I guess Shiva. We'll do Shiva first, even though that's not going to matter. Whatever. Okay. Should be another foregone conclusion, but... We saw what happened last time. Here's Shiva. Shiva and the boys. Now these dorks up front are no match for me. That's whatever. Even with Yeah, this is this is a foregone conclusion. <laughs> now we just wait for them to die. Really, that didn't kill him. I'm surprised. Just wipe out these other dorks first. There we go. Ah, she even only has 1600. I thought she had more than that. Oh, mm. And that's a wrap on Shiva. Like, I was somehow, like, even less sure of, of being her than I was of Lostrosity. And I thought Lostrosity was a shoe in so... It was close. Whatever. Anyway, on to Ramu! Okay, we found Ramu. It was actually first, uh... random battle I came across. Uh, just a second, is this recording? Yeah, it's recording, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now I just got unpaused. This should be another foregone conclusion. <laughs> I mean... I really don't know why I bother <laughs> with uh, Shiva and Ramu, but whatever. They're, they're bosses, we might as well. Ifrit, what are you doing here? Lord Ramu! I see you have become even more powerful. If you would lend that strength to us. Ifrit, no need to say more. You and I have never been enemies. Be. Okay. Enough of that. Um, Soul Cannon's next. I'm not going to bother showing the deck guns because that should be fairly easy. Especially since, uh, at least a few of those fights will be easy, because I'm going to, or really easy, because 
Uh, I'm gonna equip the flame ring. <laughs> and the flame throwers will just heal me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got tons of money. I might as well buy one. Okay, anyway. See you at Soul Cannon. You know what I forgot? Adamant Toys. Whoops. <laughs> I guess we gotta beat him up real quick. I think we'll be okay? Adamant Toys has a lot of defense, but... We have a lot of strength. We'll, we'll see. We shall see. I don't remember the specifics of Adamant Toys. Usually just a little more than the speed bump, but... We'll see. Ow, ow. How many hit points do you have, friend? Because you're about to kill me. Oof. Whew, okay, well. Having a monk instead of a berserker is such a massive difference, I cannot stress this enough. Your attacks are stronger, you have more hit points, you're faster, and you have counter. Being a berserk monk alone is so much better than just being berserker. Again, this is how I heal. <laughs> okay, now I'll see you at Soul Cannon. Okay, here we are at Soul Cannon, level 32. Um, I'm behind Angel Ring to stop the the aging from the missiles. That's all I can really do. Other than level more. <clears throat> so we basically have to kill him before he fires off his second laser. I thought they had a thousand hit points, so I guess I'm glad about that, but um, doing just a little damage is not encouraging. That's not encouraging either, because now the diffusion, diffusion beam will kill me, I think. Because it does, it, 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 it does a percentage of your hit points, but the problem is, unlike missile and stuff like that, it doesn't do a percentage of your remaining hit points. It does a percentage of your total hit points. And the Soul Beam... Does about 50% damage, or like 51%, something like that. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to have to level more or something. Like, it should do about, like, 735-ish, unless they changed it. Wave Cannon, sorry. Yeah. It does 50% of your total hit points. So, basically, um, this is my brick wall, and I don't know how I'm going to get past it. <clears throat> I won't be aged by the missiles, which is good. But unless they do normal attacks and I attack them from the get-go, um, this is going to be rough. We're going to give it a, f a few more goes, and then uh, I'll have to think of something. Okay, now we're already dead. I mean, un unless we, we hit uh, the Soul Cannon itself with nothing but crits... But that ain't happening. Taking that missile was one too many. If we could... If we can destroy those missile launchers... We have a pretty good chance of winning. Without them... It, well, if we destroy them before... Um, they fire off any missiles. Otherwise, this is going to happen. Getting more hit points isn't going to help, because percentages are percentages. Now, we can gain levels to increase my 
attack multiplier, but we still have to kill those launchers first. I don't think the Elven Mantle will protect us from the missiles either, like to dodge them or whatever. And You know, thinking about it, does does having the angel ring on even matter if I still get hit by a missile? It doesn't. Let's stop that. See, on my particularly tough uh, Fortnite Fiesta runs, or when I have, uh, you know. Uh, a solo Ferris run that's not Berserk um, I'll usually pick up at least one Angel Ring to protect somebody from aging usually if, uh, money permitting of course this is much easier in a, fer in a solo Ferris run because I don't have nearly as much money to spend on equipment and stuff like that because I don't need to Was this tip four? Something like that. So we know the missiles can miss. It's asking for a lot to happen in this. Do I possibly have any other strategies? Well, yeah, but it would require a lot of grinding. <laughs> like, a shit ton of grinding. Like, really the only other al alternative I have is to not target the launchers at all. And just hit the soul launcher as hard as I can. Problem is, it's got like 12,000 HP. It's got a lot. That's not kind of launchers. See, we hit it quite a bunch, uh, quite a bunch there. Now we did waste one turn attacking a launcher, but. I don't think it would have made enough of a difference. We need more crits if we're going to just take on the approach of just destroying the soul cannon and leaving everything else. This is probably where the recording will stop for now. Yeah. This is probably where the recording will stop. I gotta think of a plan. Like, I was expecting a few roadblocks in this. I was expecting Sandworm to be a bit of a roadblock until I thought it through a little bit. See, we're, we're, we've already lost. Um, I was expecting Soul Cannon to be a, uh, a uh, roadblock. Um, crystals I don't consider a roadblock because of getting Death Sickles and going Ninja. Or at least uh, Two Swords. Um, uh, X Death 2 is definitely going to be a roadblock. Uh, Gilgamesh 3. Uh, potentially Gilgamesh 4. Although you don't have to fight Gilgamesh 4. Although we should to make unlocking the last save point in the, um, the rift much easier. This may very well come down to needing to get Ninja up. 
and then using Freelancer. Like, I might be a much higher level next time you guys see this. This one's already a wash, unless we just do nothing but attack the cannon. And we need lots of crits. I do have an option. But it again, it would require Mastering Ninja. I could... Although, is it going to do more damage than Monk Fist? But basically, the idea would be to... Unlock two swords. Really, Master Ninja. Uh... Finish Mastering Monk, Freelancer, Two Swords, Equip Two uh, Coral Blades. For a Helmet, uh, it depends on if Freelancer can equip Ribbons, I can't remember, or if they have to actually use Equip Ribbon like the other jobs, aside from Dancer. I guess we can find out real quick since I have one. That'll negate the need for an angel ring. Oh yeah, I was a bad boy, by the way. I did a one of the deck ba uh, gun battles as a non-berserk because I forgot to put berserk back on after I got done killing my party members. Because they were brought back by being forced to sleep in and the, when you're going to go get the adamantite slapped onto your uh, uh, airship. Um, it, it doesn't matter, but sure. Okay, that's super good to know. We can't equip ribbons without needing equip ribbon. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to be grinding a bunch. <laughs> yeah. This sucks. Unless I can think of something else. Looking at what I've got, I don't see a lot of options. Being a black major summoner and using uh, Thunder Rod is going to be nowhere near good enough. It's not nearly as good as you think it'd be. Mystic Knight would be fantastic, but it's no good because we can't use commands. We don't have a Thunder Bow. Even if we did, I can't see it matching the damage. Blue Mage is useless, Red Mage is useless, Beast Master is useless, G Master is useless, Bard is super useless. None dead, so white mage is useless. I'm keeping the healing stick. Just in case. Uh, thief is useless except for its speed. And really, I'm just going to master ninja anyway. Okay, ninja has no magic. That kind of sucks, but, you know. That's super important. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go Master Ninja. So I'll be a higher level. I'll be faster. But it's going to be a while. Okay, so... Again, I don't know how I'm doing this video. these videos. I don't know if I'm just going to do one big compilation video or what. If I'm going to do it in multiple videos, but this would probably be a good point to split into another video if I decide to do that. I guess I'll find out here in a little bit. Well, a little bit for you. This could be weeks for me at this point. All this other stuff I've gotten done in the space of a couple days. No big problem. It's just anytime I find time to grind while I'm watching TV or eating dinner or something like that and I got a hand free, you know. All I got to do is just, just 
move the D-pad and just let the battles fight themselves. So doing the bosses is actually pretty quick. Huh. Okay, anyway, that's enough. So we'll see you again shortly for more Soul Cannon, I think. Okay, so grinding done, I think. I hope. So, what we have now is Thief Master Monk and Ninja. Um, I'm gonna get Thief Master at some point, just so I get two more agility <laughs> than I than uh, Ninja gives me, and for um, the thingy to uh, the innate ability to uh, avoid back attacks or whatever. That's the thing about Ninja. It gives you two swords, high agility, and uh, preemptive attack. Now, anything you master, as we said before, you get to keep the stats of the best jobs. And that includes uh, hit points. I forgot about that. Um, so we get to keep counter, barehanded, uh, uh, the hit points, the strength, the vitality, the agility, preemptive attack, and two swords. And if I master this, I'll get a little bit more agility and and uh, the stopping back attack. The only other job I'm going to bother mastering is Samurai for Blade Catch Wars. It's Shiradori? I forget what it's called. Shiradori? S something. Basically, it's just a flat 25% chance to, uh, to uh, just dodge physical attacks. It's nice. So then that brings us to our Freelancer. Whoops. Which has 3,000 hit points. <laughs> now, it our freelancer actually has like 2,000 something, but since there's not too many different abilities I can equip that I don't already have because, thanks to innates, um, I'm just going to have on hit points plus 30% and it still tacks it on. So, hit point plus 30% doesn't carry over from Mastered Monk. So, eh. So, I guess technically, if I really, if I didn't feel like equipping this ability, I could just get Samurai up enough to get the blade catch, but I won't be able to use this later, and ideally, assuming I can beat this without, uh, well, beat it as is, um, or beat the game as is, uh, I'd like to try and do it at a lower level than I did with Quad Strikers, considering I did it at a fairly lower level than uh, well, I beat Sandworm at a decently lower level than I did on my uh, Quad Circus. Quad Circus were like level 40. Fer or Solo Ferris was like 35, 34, something like that. Somewhere in the 30s. So, uh, it, it really pays to be able to have uh, abilities that you actually want. Wait. Oh, that's confirmed. Oh, shit. I get so confused with games. Sometimes A is confirmed, sometimes B is confirmed. I'm used to either way, but still. Uh, oh, God damn it. I have to do that again. Anyway. Blitz Whip. Try, they're both uh, Lightning Elemental, uh, Elemental, Ninja Suit, and Ribbon. This is the, our big prize here. Plus five to every stat, lots of defense, and the Prince of Stats elements, including old. <laughs> So we don't have to wear the angel ring. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. We either have to kill both of the missiles before they strike. Or missile launchers before they strike. Or I need to just destroy Soul Can before it can fire its first laser. Here we go. Try number six, I guess. I forget how many we tried last time I did a session. Man, we are really slow. Why are we so slow? Seriously, why are we so slow? Do you essentially get back attack? Ooh. Mm. 
So I don't think we're gonna win this time, but uh One more round. Uh, actually, we might. Should be enough damage, I think. Very close. There we go. All right. Man, my headset's echoing. It feels. I think it's okay. Huh. Oh, whatever. Soul Cannon down. I knew I was going to have to super grind for this. Hopefully that means I won't have to grind for a while. I should be able to get away with the... Uh, let's see. What's our next really hard boss? Well, Archeo Avis. Eh. Not keen on that. Hopefully we can just like straight up muscle our way through it, but I'm not so confident. Should I go through the ruins as thief? <clears throat> now nah, let's just get it over with with this. Okay then. Um, I'll see you at Archeo Amos. Okay. Well, time for Archeo Amos. I don't know how this is gonna go because Archeo Amos can get some extreme defense because you're supposed to play the elements game with it. But, we'll see. Uh, maybe we can just... overpower through sheer, sheer brute force. We got the Blitz Whip and the Ancient Sword on, and, uh... Okay, here we go. Oh, you son of a bitch. I, mean, I can wipe these dorks out easily. Not the problem. No, not the point. I'll oh, fine. Just kill them. Nope. Maybe I should have kept the moon ring blade on. Hey, why is the blitz whip doing so much damage? Ancient sword should be doing more, but the is there such thing as whip elemental? They're not weak to lightning, and the weapons themselves don't do lightning damage either, as, as I found out. Huh. Okay, here we go. Spray her horribly. So we're trying this in the front row to begin with, and then we'll try back row with uh, Moon Ring Blades or something. Okay, that's phase one. Phase two is done. After phase three. Phase three is done. On to phase four. Well, we're out pacing him. Now this is supposed to be the, the high defense phase, I think. I didn't think we'd out turn him like that. See, every time we force him to, to, cha to change forms, even though you can't see it, trust me, he's changing forms. Um, every time you force him to change forms, it, f it forces his uh, ATV meter to reset. Oh, it didn't even fucking matter. Did not fucking matter. His defense was nothing. We're just too strong at this point. But that was a lot harder as Berserkers. Like, quad Berserkers. Quality over quantity. Like, all we got hit by was Sap, and that was it. Wow, we got all kinds of shit, didn't we? Do we always get that much stuff? You get a drink per form? I don't remember getting all this stuff before. Huh. And other versions, I mean. Okay, so when next we meet uh, Meteor Bosses. Uh, I don't know the order because I always forget which one's where. Alright, see you then.